Welcome back. Today in this video, I want to show you the tools I am using myself while I am cutting hair and during my barbering. If you are a beginner for the barbering and the tools I am going to show you in this video, I believe it will help you. So let's get in the video. The tools you are seeing in here, I'm going to explain you each tools and I hope you will find this video very useful for yourself. So this is the section I am actually cutting hair all the way. This is one section and this is all like barber chair and the gowns and this, you know, some barbers, you know, some places, you know, when you are working, every, every place, every barber shop is different. And like, some barbers have a sink in there, like on the stations, some barbers have a sink, some barbers have only shelf, like, you know, just a section and they don't have a sink. So many different type of tools and clippers out there. So you are going to find uh, different type of tools and different type of clippers and the ones you're gonna get yourself used to. More you practice with the haircuts and the more you practice with the uh, clippers and tools, you are going to find your own tools and the one you're gonna love. And so I will recommend you take your time and don't rush yourself. So, and don't stress yourself, definitely don't stress yourself as well. Because the barbering, the barbering is, is, is time taking business, you know, like you will, you will take your time and because if you rush into something, you know, it will take you away from the learning as well. So that's why take your time and take it easy and in the time and time every day, you are going to learn uh, about the new styles, new haircuts, new beard styles and new clippers and tools, everything. And if you are really in serious in this, if you are really serious in this, make sure you enjoy this as well. Because trust me, in the barbering job, if you don't enjoy, I always say to myself, if you don't enjoy, you will never last long. So that's why, you know, try to enjoy the job you are doing. Any job, you know, especially in the barbering for myself, you have to enjoy and you have to chat with your customers and, you know, become a, become a friend with your clients. So in here, I want, uh, I want to start with this clipper. This is quite one of the popular clippers. It's the Wahl 100 series and it's a very, very powerful clipper. clipper and it's good for the for the most hair types and especially um, everyone uses especially you know everyone uses for the skin fade type of haircuts it's quite powerful it's good it's a little bit heavy but it's very very good you will like this and i'm going to explain you as well about the, all the guards in here i already take them out in here and also i have a waha senior in here as well and this is quite heavy clipper as well but it's very very good again for the skin fade type of haircuts and the, the, the motor inside them is quite powerful and very powerful and the battery will last quite long as well. It's very powerful as well. It's a little bit heavy but after a while you've been using them, trust me you will get used to them very very quickly. So they are very very good clipper as well. This is called Wahal Senior uh, 5 star as well. and. I have also in here for the Wahal Motion Clipper as well. Wahal Motion Clipper is uh, one of the my favorite clipper uh, as well. For such a long time I've been using these clippers. This is mostly like for the regular haircuts. Like if you are doing number one or number two or number three or four, and they don't in these clippers they don't do number five and number seven. This is number one, two, three, four, and six, and eight. That's, this is the only numbers they do in this. And this is the good thing as well. There's a tool behind here. You can always, you know, close your blades and open your blade as well with this. And also you can go like quarter way as well. Like, you know, you can, you can, there's a teeth in there and you can close them by not one by one. You know, it's very, very handy and very, very useful clipper as well. And if you are starting in the barbering, I will highly recommend you this as well. And the battery in this as well, very last and long as well. It will, it will take you go up to a couple of hours as well. Very good and very powerful as well. So, and you just make sure anytime you are using any clippers, 
make sure you use oil in them because oil is is number one thing you have to be very careful with your clippers and with your tools is oil and make sure as long as you oil them and they will really work for you very very smoothly so make sure you don't forget about the oil guys and while we are talking about the oil i like to show you oil as well in here this is the number one clipper oil and um, the one i am using myself it's the wahal clipper oil and it's very very reasonable you can always get them on the ebay or on the amazon it's very very reasonable price as well it's not very expensive and this will last you quite a long time as well because whenever you are applying the oil to your clippers you don't really have to like put too much in only a couple of drop and that will definitely keep you go for a while and another thing as well i like to show you as well on this cool care in here as well and they are quite they are quite really good as well for the antibacterial uh, spray and it's very very good for the clean uh, for your tools as well and even you can use them for your scissors and for your combs as well if you want to give them quick polish and this one in here Bohal hygienic spray as well and I love this spray because you know um, I was saying earlier for the, for the, my scissors I usually use this for my scissors and I usually use this for my clippers as well because it's very very good and it's hygienic as well as well and Wahal usually do, always do good stuff as well Wahal is a, one of the really good babyless and Wahal they are one of the good and there's of course many more uh, clippers and tools out there as well but this is the mainly two uh, names I use for our shop and for myself and Wahal and Babyless and they are always they always do good stuff in here as well and in the clippers section as well I want to show you as well this one this is the Babyless Pro uh, gold fix as well and I use this for the mostly I use this for the uh, trim the bears and for my lines up as well and this is the one of my favorite one as well I only bought this like not long ago as well I start to use this and I love this I have to say this if you are in the barber and if you are thinking to get in the barber it, I will definitely and highly recommend you get one of these clippers as well this is the Wahal Honda series detailer as well and this this uh, this clipper is um, this detailer is very very good for the lines for the lineup and also for your beard lines and for the hair lines it's a very again useful tool and i love using this as well and this is wahal hunter series t-cut again here also i have another wahal t-cut as well this is a normal t-cut this is wahal 100 series t-cut and this is wahal t-cut and it's a very good tool again and it's really really nice i usually use this mostly for the kits and behind the ears and around the necks i use this as well this is called wahal t cut you don't have to you don't have to have a couple of clippers uh, each like at the beginning you can only start with one clipper each say you know one clipper one clipper one detailers and as long as you have them as well for yourself and until you get better and better and once you get better and once you get once you make some money for yourself you can always go and, and invest in yourself and you can buy more tools for yourself and then better tools as well and in the time you will uh, get yourself more clippers and also because while you are working you will be learning about the business as well and you will be learning about the clippers and tools and then you can always get better tools and better clippers for yourself so in here i want to show you after the clippers i want to show you the scissors because scissors are one of our main and important tools as well in the barbering so as you can see i have a couple of different pair I have a couple of different pair of scissors in here because I like to work in uh, different sizes scissors and uh, I like to work in different sizes scissors as well so of course you know again um, more you work 
and more you get used to and you will get you know different type of scissors as well for yourself of course you know if you are thinking of working long time in this business in the barbering business you are gonna go you are going to go through some scissors because this is probably I've been in this business like nearly uh, seven years now seven years nearly over seven years slightly and I've been quite a uh, true lot of scissors as well myself so I have a I want to start with the cotton scissors first of all this is my uh, this is my number six scissors cotton scissors it's quite good as well they are not very very expensive you can always on the Amazon or on the eBay you can get reasonable scissors at the beginning and then more you get better you can get your more expensive scissors because there is a different price on the scissors in the market and there as well and you will definitely find some different type of scissors for yourself and my best scissors are quite like you know 70 80 pound each you know it's not very expensive but they are quite good scissors as well and in the again in the same time in here uh, I have a tenon scissors in here as well with this pair is come like as a pair like this uh, one cotton scissors and one tenon scissors at the beginning it will be definitely enough for you till you open go and also I have in here a seven inch cotton scissors again and I like to work with this scissor for the long type of hairs and also like you know this the seven inch scissors I work with the long and short type of hairs and this makes me work quite fast with my work as well and this one is a tenon scissor in here seven inch and I do love working with the scissors as well and sometimes you get a uh, like really thick hairs and well you know when you're working with the thick hairs and it's a very useful uh, tenon scissor uh, with the uh, losing the scissor marks or you know if you are thinning the hair it's quite useful scissor as well thinning scissors and I have in here a uh, number six inch scissor as well and this is quite good scissor as well for me because sometimes small scissors is quite good for the long and the finger cuts as well babyless foil shaver in in here and this babyless uh, foil shaver is good for the skin fades you know like if you are doing you know uh, like skin fade type of haircuts it's very very good and very useful and very powerful as well uh, babyless pro so i have a brown shaver in here as well uh, this is this is really good as well and very powerful uh, machine and i love working with this shaver and especially if i am doing like skin fade type of haircuts and it's very very good and very powerful machine as well i have to be i have to say that and after the shavers we have a combs in here we have a different type of combs you will be working in here this is the clipper over comb and for the clipper over comb cuttings it's very very good it's a oyster uh, comb in here I have it's really really good and in here again clipper over comb again this comb you will you need one of them as well and you will find this one's quite useful for yourself as well and also for the top for the scissor cuts you will need one of this as well or you have it this one's like this you know because I'm you know myself again I have a couple of different tools in here I always work with the different combs and different clippers for myself you know because I try to make my hair cuts really best as possible because uh, if you are in the barbering business you know you have to keep your customers happy so they can always come back to you and you have to do your job properly because in the barbering is you don't want to go to the barber shop yourself and have a bad haircut and you wouldn't really go back again so you have to always think your clients like that as well if you are cutting your clients haircuts do your best always do your best they will not ask you more trust me long as you do your best and the job you are doing always my highly recommend for you if you are starting in this business make sure you like the job first yourself you know the haircut any haircut you do for any clients make sure you like first if you like it trust me clients will like it as well because if you don't like it 
the client's not gonna like it as well trust me on this make sure you always you like the first the job you're doing so I will highly recommend you that I have a disc comb in here again in here for a cut and comb uh, for the scissor cut on the top you can always use both sides as well and also you can use this comb for the part in the hair as well for the part the hair this is another uh, cut and comb as well again you have a different sides and in here this one is I usually use for my beards brushing the beards because sometimes you know the beards come very very thick and I like it a little bit open like like this you know this comb is quite open and it's actually you know it's nice if you notice uh, if you notice this this comb is a different between this comb and this comb I usually use this comb for the curtain comb our, uh, or the, for the hair part you know part in the hair and this comb mostly I use for the beards so I find this comb more useful for the beards because if the beards are quite thick you know you can always it's very easy uh, to uh, brush or comb the beard as well and I have also in here this is my eyebrow comb uh, I usually use this uh, trim the eyebrows because most my clients they like to have an eyebrow trim so that's why you know i did, i brush the eyebrow down first and then whatever has come out here i just take the, my detailers i just trim the eyebrows like this so it is it's very nice and handy as well usually this brush is for my clippers you know you can use this brush for to clean your tools after this as well and you will need one of them as well it's quite good it's handy handy brush this is my skin fade brush and if you are fade brush if you are doing skin fade type of hair cost this is quite useful brush as well and you will need one of them too well, these two combs I have in here and uh, they are styling comb as well because you get different type of hairs always and so I always work between them and I always find working with them whenever um, whatever hair whatever one is easy for me to work with it I will just choose one of them and I will work with them as well and they are quite good for the styling uh, the hair as well so and also you will need one uh, a water bottle as well you know at the beginning and also you know it's different type of water bottles in there again you can just you know just work with the anyone easy for you and because this one I have in here and I have this one in here it's just like different type of water bottles you work with and this brush as well I don't want to pass this brush as well this is quite good brush as well for the styling and it's really useful brush again for whenever you come in, whenever come to for style the hair it's very useful uh, one of the useful brush is again this one as well razor for the lines as well and for the hot towel shades we usually do and if you are doing hot towel shades or if you are doing beard trims or if you are lined up around the edges nearly my clients I always clean around the necks so that's why you know uh, you will need one of them as well for the razors also you will need a blow dry again um, in in the barber and you, it's blow dry is always good to it's always good to have a powerful blow dry uh, for the style on your hairs and for the you know blow dry on the, on the customer's hair and everything so the blow dry will be one of your main tool as well working with in the barber shop and then also we have in here uh, uh, talc and powder sometime you know the hairs uh, will stick the customer's skin sometime and it's very useful you can always put on your on your brush always toss your around the, your around your clients uh, around the edges and everything for the move the, all the uh, hair basically what we do like with the blow dry and with the brush it does amazing job I always use this brush with the blow drying and for my clients after my cut and finish I always put around the face around the edge behind the ears and even this like long brushes is quite I find this uh, brush is quite helpful as well like you know sometimes I will do like in round a uh, round the ears and inside the ears as well this is the my chafing gel as well I have in here and whenever you are doing the beard trims or 
uh, you know, around the edges, like, you know, whenever you are like shaving around the edges or lined up around the edges, it's always uh, useful to have, uh, always useful to have the shaving gel. You don't really need it too much, you know, just a very little on your hand and just put around the face and around the edge and you can always uh, work with your razor again and you can make your lines up with that as well and shaving gel is one of the uh, one of the main tool you're gonna need in your barber and for the numbers guys you know there's a uh, there's a numbers as well for all your uh, clippers it's number half 0 0.5 and number one one and a half and two three and four five again it goes on like that till number eight and you will also uh, find your guards you will need also uh, clipper guards as well again in here so this will be your guards in there as well uh, for the wahal motion clippers this is the type of the guards you will need as well and usually when you get the wahal motion clipper all the guards it will come with itself as well all the guards will, it will come with the clipper as well for you so you don't really need to get another separate uh, guards for the wahal motion clippers so they will also number one two three and four and six and eight they don't come number five or seven with that yes this is the section i work for my haircuts so i explain you all the tools i use uh, for my haircuts in here and all the tools and all the clippers and all the scissors and all the guards all the combs all the brush all the brushes for the fade brush and for the uh, for the razors and for the water bottles and for the blow dries and oil clipper like clipper oils and talcum powder all the razors for the lines and for the lined up the, for the lined up the beards all the razors and then all the scissors all we use disposable guns as well and because they are only one time using guns and then one time once you use only one for the one customers and you can just put them in the bin and you can just get the new one it's also good for your clients as well so uh, this is it guys so basically you know this is the all the tools i use in uh, my for during the, for my haircuts this is the, all the tools i usually use uh, during my haircuts and i hope you will find this video really useful for you and helpful for you and if you really have any question and um, please you know comments on the below i will be happily answer your questions i want to take another series of this video as well and i in that series i want to show you how clean barber and how clean barber shop should be uh, in that uh, series as well and i am sure you will find that a video very useful for you and very helpful for you and i'm going to take that video as well in the next few days and uh, also you know i want to explain to you guys as well about uh, how to keep your barber section nice clean and also where's your tools should be in your section and what is your tools should be like in your section i want to explain all that as well in the next video i explain you all about the barber tools and how the barber tools you what barber tools you will be need and you will be used during the haircuts and i hope you find this video very helpful and useful if you've been watching this video this far i want to give you one of my best tip as well in my barber life cleaning clean make sure you around you your section yourself your tools anything in the shop you are doing make sure it's clean guys trust me this makes big difference in the barbering business barbering business is all about the cleaning clean haircuts clean tools clean clothes for yourself you know whenever you are wearing your clothes make sure you are clean your face clean you smell nice your breath smell nice your hands clean anything clean in is one of the best thing anywhere 
You wouldn't want to go dirty restaurants and have a dirty food. You wouldn't want to go dirty barber and have a dirty haircuts. So make sure you and yourself and your haircuts is clean as ever you can make. Really, really, this will make you so much different. And trust me, trust me. And then all the clients, all the customers will love cleaning. And say, for example, you know, your customers come into your shop or your section or on your chair and have any haircuts, you wouldn't want him to sit on the dirty place, isn't it? You wouldn't want him to sit on the dirty chair or you wouldn't want to, he wouldn't want you to use dirty tools on him. So even example, for example, yourself, if you are going to barber shop or anywhere, any place, you wouldn't want to be come across with a dirty person or you wouldn't want to be getting treats with the dirty tools. Cleaning is make everything different. Anything you see, keep it clean. All right? So thank you so much for being watching this video today and I hope I will see you on my next video. Thank you so much, guys. And stay safe. Take care.